Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at this puzzle here, which is called the Houdini Wooden Puzzle Lock. It's part of the Puzzle Lock series of the Houdini Puzzle Lock series of Professor Puzzle, and it is coming in this box here. Unfortunately, there's no difficulty rating on this box, and the target of this puzzle is to open the puzzle somehow. It's a trick lock, so it's not easy, and you can imagine that opening opening it here with this key might not work. Therefore, um, yeah, we have to find out what's the trick behind of this. The quality is okay. It's nothing. It's no, let's say, high quality. Anyway, it's made out of laser cut wood. And um, I put you the link, if I find it, I put you the link in the description where you can buy it. How to open this puzzle lock? I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, so when you handle this puzzle, you notice quickly there is some kind of a mechanism inside. Since when you turn it, it makes some kind of noise. Also, there's a keyhole here on the lower side. And when you look inside in detail, you can see a cylinder inside, a wooden cylinder. And this cylinder actually can be pressed. And this is what we need the key for. So we can press in the key and it will come out again since this, this, the cylinder is somehow spring-loaded. We can put in the key like this or like this. And that's an important difference. When we take the lock in this orientation and put in the key like this, something will change. Since when we look again inside we can see that there is a metal cylinder now visible that is coming inside from the side from over here. So this must have something to do with the solution. And when you handle this puzzle due to the movement, you will notice that there must be some mechanism inside of moving parts. And when you move it in the right order, it enables you to unlock the, the wooden puzzle lock. So what we do now is I'm going to show you the sequence how to solve it. So first, the cylinder, we need to push in the key as I shown. The cylinder will move over here. So no matter where it was before, there must be now some free play. So, and this is what I go step by step. And I can hear now when I move it like this they will move a part inside up and down. So I move it down. And now when I move it like this, I will also hear there is another part moving. And I continue now like this in a way where I can unlock the puzzle. So move it over here, move it over here, over here and over here. And now it's open. So. How did this work? I will show you now a graphic explanation here, how it works. So you can see how these cylinder in the inside are orientated or positioned. And you can see this is now, would be now the closed condition. And um, if I push in the key here, the cylinder here on the lower end will move to the right side and enables all the other cylinders now to move until the lock up here is unlocked. To lock it again, we just push it inside, lock it with the upper cylinder and then do this, do it the same way as before but other way around. Go over here, go over here, go over here and now this cylinder in the inside here should have enough free play to go back in the initial position. 
This is how you solve or how you open the Houdini wooden puzzle lock. It's a combination lock. I know that a lot of people don't like these kind of puzzles because there is no visible, uh, visible mechanic behind. Anyway, I like them because when you handle them and when you listen carefully and um, also you can feel the movements of the parts inside, it's possible to solve even if you cannot see it. I mean, I did it. All. I also did it myself. Um, the graphic explanation you saw, I copied from the uh, manufacturer's page because I was not 100% clear how it looked like inside. So I um, took the uh, graphic explanation from the manufacturer's side. And um, I think it's very good, um, or it's a very good explanation to understand what's behind of this. My personal rating of the difficulty of this puzzle is. Uh, two out of a maximum of five because I was lucky and I quickly um, understood how this might work and due to the move uh, when you move it around you will have uh, you will be able to open it quite fast in about five to ten minutes therefore my personal rating is only a two out of a maximum of five anyway it's an interesting puzzle if you like this episode and interested to see more in the future, I appreciate if you give me, give me a thumbs up and a like. And also subscribe to my channel and um, to my Facebook channel. And as always, if you have any questions, complaints, wishes, ideas, let me know in the comments. And until next time, keep on puzzling.